show, everybody. Time for some love. Welcome back. Uh, we're back with Psychic Maria Shaw, and she's doing some love and relationship readings for members of our studio audience. So who, Maria will stay right there, who's in a relationship? Raise your hand. Who's in a relationship? Let's, we're going to go to you right here. Go ahead and stand up. Let's give it up. Obviously, things are going well. They Thank are. you. That's right. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, Maria, what do we need to know? First of all, what's your name? Aubrey. Hi. Oh, that's a beautiful name, oh, Aubrey. Thank you. Yes. Thank what do we need to know from Aubrey, Miss Maria? Her birthday and her husband's birthday. December 30th, and his birthday is May 8th. Okay. And I want to tell you, you have another relationship coming very soon, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is a very compatible co combination. Capricorn and Taurus are very compatible, okay? He can be a little stubborn, doesn't like change as much, mm -hmm. but this is a relationship that can last a lifetime. And I also see another child after this. <laughs> Come back next year and tell us what's happening. Oh, yeah. oh. No, no, no. We're done. <laughs> Did you hear that? They're done. They're done. Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you so much. Okay, who's next? Who's in a relationship? You come down here, my love. Come right down here. Watch the step right there. Okay, what's your name? Sharon. Sharon. What's your birthday and then his birthday? January 15th and his is February 15th. Oh, wow. Are you sure? You're either with your soulmate or your cellmate. <laughs> You're either. Have you been in jail? <laughs> no. She's a prisoner of love. She's yeah. a prisoner of love. Now, when you see two birthdays, like you're in a Capricorn, he's in Aquarius, and they're back to back, those are called neighboring signs. There's, that's usually um, a past life connection, too. So when you first met him, did you feel like you wanted to run, or you felt like, oh, there's something special about him? There was I no asked neutral. Him to marry me. Oh, oh, she knew. You asked him? I asked him. I love that. <laughs> oh. She knew. <laughs> very Atta likely, girl. very likely that you were either with him in a former lifetime in a marriage or at least it was a love affair. And I don't think that in that prior lifetime, if you believe in past lives, that maybe um, you actually consummated the relationship. So you weren't letting him get by in this lifetime. You were going right for it. <laughs> you are. Thank you. They could have been like pioneer lovers. I love it. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Oh, come over here. You work down here because you have boots, and I love boots. Coming down here. Okay, what's your name? Carol. Carol, what's uh, what's your birth date and your significant others? August thirteenth, March sixteenth. Oh, that's wonderful. A lot of astrologers will say that those two signs are not compatible, but they actually are because as a Leo, you love to be pleased. And as a Pisces, he likes to please. But you're going to end up being the boss in that relationship. You don't have to worry about anything. You can dictate whatever you want to do. He's very, he whines a little bit too much, but he's a very nice guy. Okay. So I, I think you're in it for the long haul, too. Okay. The long haul. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, fellow Leo. Let's go down here. Who do we have? Anybody relationship? Oh, okay. Maria, let's go right here because this was the young lady that I, I ruined the first half of the show because of, of uh, Stranger Things. What's your name? Yeah. Michelle. Michelle. Okay, your birth date and your significant others. 122, 74. Okay. okay. This is my significant other. Oh, hello, Sano. <laughs> well, now it's time for you to cover your ears. That's right, yes. <laughs> and then birth date. 12, 1270. Okay. Okay, that's very compatible. So far, we're here. We have really good combinations. Nobody here is is a dud. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. Good news. Yeah, lots lots of fun and also best friends. The thing with these two signs is they're best friends too. Yep. yep. Very very good. And let him have his toys. If he wants to buy just, stuff, let him have his toys. Been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. You just got to like, You like the toys? An ice castle, yeah. Oh, I, you, you have an ice castle? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? For Wait. fishing. Oh, for fishing. Fish oh, okay. Fish oh, my. I thought you were building ice castles in your <laughs> spare time. I'm like, holy. <laughs> the whole other fortune. Thank you so much. We can do Great. one more. Who? Oh, come down here, my love. Come down here. Right over here. Right over here. Watch your step. Watch your step. Come right over here. What's your name? Julie. Julie. And uh, your birthday and significant others? February 16th and April 12th. Well, happy birthday coming up. Now, Thank these you. are two compatible people, but they are also the sign of the know-it-alls. Aries and Aquarius know everything, and they'll tell you, too. Who's the boss in this household? Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, please, believe me, yes. 
See, she knows everything. She does. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Very compatible between the two. You guys will butt heads every now and then. Yep. But you know what? It can last. That's great. Okay. Congratulations, well, everybody. So far. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. Psychic Maria Shaw, you can get a reading from Maria. You can get a reading from Maria at the Psychic Fair this weekend at the Radisson Blue at Mall of America. It's happening from uh, Sunday from 9 to 4. Get there early, everybody. Get there early. And admission is just $10. We'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody. <laughs> Woo! No done. In that commercial break, Maria was feeling some vibrations about a certain person in the audience. Intern Kenny. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Kenny, come on over here. Give it up for Kenny, everybody. <laughs> okay, what, what are you feeling All for right. love for Kenny? All right, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah, <laughs> you got you got someone circling right now that you keep pushing off, pushing off. I think you're sending the wrong vibes to somebody, sending mixed signals, and you know that you're guilty of mixed signals sometimes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Yeah. Whoops. So you got a couple stalkers too. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Stalkers. but yeah, I, I, I do well. I do see you very happy this fall, oh, and I good. think you're going to make more of a, a deeper commitment. What was your birthday? June 27th. That's my birthday. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So. Okay, listen, this is the best year for cancers in 12 years for love. Oh, okay. Yes, it starts after <laughs> April and it goes till November. Okay. Get out there, be out there, and you don't have to settle. Remember, you don't Get have to there, settle. Get out there, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Maria Shaw, everybody. <laughs>